If you have ever gotten perfect IV flash and gone to advance your catheter in the vein only to have it not advance or to blow the vein entirely, let me show you what's going on and how you can help to avoid it. So first up, let's just get familiar with our equipment. This is the IV catheter and needle. And as you can see, the catheter here sits on top of the needle, but look how far back it is before it actually gets off of the needle. The needle tip is here, but the IV catheter starts all the way back there. So when you first see flash, what you are actually seeing is blood entering through the, the bevel of the needle right here, meaning that the needle has just pierced the vein, but the catheter is not yet fully seated within that vein. Let me show you. Okay, here is my vein and I go to start and I pierce through and I get flashback right now. Right now I'm getting flashback because the bevel of the needle is inside the vein, but the catheter isn't. So if I try to advance this catheter right now, I'm getting a lot of pushback and resistance. And what would happen in a real patient's vein, well, that could happen, but also the catheter could destroy that vein wall with too much pressure from me trying to push it off. So when you get flash, that's awesome. It means that you have actually pierced the vein. Now now, though, is the time for you to situate that catheter by dropping your angle, advancing the IV catheter a little bit farther, and then you're going to be able to actually slide the catheter off, leaving it in your patient's vein. This is what it is actually happening in your patient's vein when you leave that catheter behind. You can also see here how much of that uh, catheter is in this fake vein when there's no skin or subcutaneous tissue to contend with. But keep in mind, most people are going to have a fair amount of that, so you're actually only going to have about that much in your patient's cat in your patient's vein with this being taken up by their subcutaneous tissue and their skin. So just an interesting way to view this since typically we only get the top-down view with no x-ray vision. I hope this helps.